Hello, my dear gardeners. Every year in my garden, I plant different annuals and perennials, and then at the end of the season, I showcase the best of them. And this year, definitely the winning ticket goes to this very unassuming, quiet annual in our region, Bacopa. Olga Carmody with you today, and let's talk how to care and grow successfully Bacopa plant. I garden in zone 67, so for me, this uh, plant, Bacopa, would be an annual. In zone 911, Bacopa is a perennial plant growing season after season. And since Bacopa is so generous with its beautiful blooms, blooming from spring to the fall almost non stop, we treat it here as an annual, and it can be actually grown anywhere in the world as treated as an annual. Bacopa is used in the garden as a trailing plant or a ground cover. So in my garden, I grow Bacopa in four different locations in my garden. So this hanging basket came from the front where there is a little bit of more sun right now. And you can see here Bacopa is doing much better in this um, hanging basket than here in these two parts. Since our nights are already getting uh, cold and looks like uh, Bacopa is giving up here uh, growing, but sun here is still saving these blooms in the front. Bacopa has somewhat succulent shiny leaves in the shape of a heart and it is really not very demanding about nutrients and soil conditions, which is uh, wonderful. Uh, one more thing which I like about Bacopa is it's hard to find an annual which will successfully bloom in white color in shady conditions. And at the back of my garden, I have Bacopa growing in a, a, like a sack, plant sack, which I sowed myself for that plant specifically. And that area is getting a little bit, not much of sun. It's semi-shady. And I was wondering, am I going to have just this beautiful green mass of leaves and no flowers at all? Well, Bacopa bloomed there from spring to fall. It is blooming now, liking that location and trailing very well. So that's a good thing about Bacopa. It will not refuse to bloom in shade. Another good thing which I like about Bacopa, that it's a trailing plant. Look at this. This is my hanging basket. You see how it, uh, nicely it trails down. So if you're using your containers and you need a trailing plant, Bacopa can be suited for that. It comes in three different colors. I just happened to buy the white one, but Bacopa comes in pink, blue, and white. I do like white quiet spaces, quiet shady spaces in the garden can look quite nice with that calm white color. So here I have Bacopa in two different pots. Unfortunately, the season has to come to the end to these plants. The first frost will kill it. I was wondering if I can take the cuttings and try to overwinter those cuttings in my garage and see how they will um, grow next year. I might try to do that. As for the water, I was watering Bacopa uh, very often. Bacopa is sensitive to lack of water, so you have to stay on top of it. Fertilizers, also, Bacopa is um, benefiting from regular fertilization. And what I did for this plant, as with all other potted plants of mine, I usually don't do artificial fertilizer in my garden, but on pots I will use. So I used water-soluble fertilizer, and I did uh, half a dose, every week. And my Bacopa liked it and had strength to blossom from spring to the fall. Bacopa is a quiet plant, but there is a lot of charm in um, plants which are quiet. Uh, the garden has to have showstoppers, plants which are attracting all the attention, and then those quiet plants which are just making the background and background is also very important. So I uh, um, think that Bacopa is a quiet, charming uh, background plant, which makes all the difference in the uh, darkish and shady areas in the garden. So my dear gardeners, have a lovely day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bacopa for you.